If you think a harness like this or this is going to magically stop your dog from pulling, or you think this is a choker or should be used as such, then you need to do two things. The first thing you need to do is give your head a serious wobble because unicorns and fairy dust don't exist. The second thing you need to do is hit the subscribe button because you don't want to miss the videos we've got coming out that focus on equipment and dog training aids. The dog training aid and equipment industry is a billion pound one and we as humans always love a quick fix. We also love the latest trendy gadgets or equipment, especially if they're priced appropriately. The problem is most of the equipment or training aids that come out are simply reinventing the wheel. They've been done and they've just been repackaged and sent out again. Anything new nowadays tends to be tugging at your emotions and your wallet at the same time. Starting next week, we've got a series of videos coming out which focus on dog training equipment and or training aids. We're gonna be dispelling some myths, letting you know which equipment that we would recommend, and more importantly, showing you how to use it. In a series of videos, we're gonna be focusing on harnesses, check chains, ball chuckers, leads, collars, which ones to use, which ones not to use. The list is endless. So if your head has now stopped wobbling and you don't believe in unicorns and fairy dust, but you'd like to learn more about equipment, which equipment to use with your dog and how to use it, then hit the subscribe button with notifications turned on and make sure you tune in next week for the first of those videos.